You think of it as something light, yet it is with Allah, Alveen, very severe, disastrous or great. In this is a very strong prohibition, a very serious prohibition. That a person gives in to certain kinds of sins, to some of the sins, in a way where he considers it to be hayyin, takes it as being light, he doesn't pay much attention to it. And this is something, subhanAllah, that is so common amongst us today. May Allah Ta'ala guide us to what is better. The servant, when he evaluates a great affair with Allah, something that is a serious crime to Allah, when he evaluates it and considers it to be light, that really doesn't benefit him at all. The status of that crime is with Allah Ta'ala, and he is the one who will judge the slave with that crime, not the person based on his own assumption of it not being a serious matter. We don't want to say here, you know those Muslims that when you advise them, they say, right, it's not a big thing. We want to say, how often have we done this? Point the fingers inwardly at ourselves. How often have we committed crimes and repeated those crimes that we know we need to repent from, that we know we need to desist from and give up, yet it's because we're taking them lightly. It's because we're not taking them seriously. There are people amongst us, may Allah Ta'ala forgive us, their eyes land on things that are horrible things, on these smartphones and on these tablets. And why is it that they repeat that on a daily basis? What is it? You think it's an easy thing. Destroying yourself by a few passing moments of visual, what you think to be pleasure and enjoyment. Destroying ourselves. May Allah Ta'ala forgive us. May Allah Ta'ala guide us to what is better. It's easy to say, you know those Muslims, the ones that when you advise them, they say it's not a big issue. It's always easy to find that case, right? But we should be thinking firstly, and that's, that's there, yes it's there. And we ask Allah Ta'ala to guide them. But firstly and foremostly, why is it that I keep repeating these sins and these crimes that I do? What is it about me that makes me return to the same things? Is it that I revere Allah Ta'ala and I'm considering His greatness every time I commit this sin? Or is it that I'm heedless? I'm not thinking about that. I'm not thinking about the greatness of the one I'm disobeying. I'm thinking about how, how much time I have and I'm free, I have free time and I'm bored and I can do these things and those things. Allah Ta'ala has given us so much for us to have time and to have you know, uh, technology and different things and we use those things to disobey Allah Ta'ala. May Allah Ta'ala forgive us and give us in our hearts a true recognition of the status of those crimes that we commit. One that from it branches you know, true hatred for that sin and true remorse and true repentance which Allah Ta'ala loves. Allahumma amin.